This is Curry Van Dyne. It's the Yuletide season and some of us will be overindulging in a lot of not just food but drink also. Medical missionary and healthy lifestyle educator Dr. Deborah Williams is here and we're going to be talking about eating healthy especially for persons who are affected by certain lifestyle diseases. Um, but before we do it, I have to say welcome back to Smile Jamaica. Thank you, Doc. Delia. Good morning and good morning. good morning to your viewers. Yes, a lot of people are watching now. Um, some may not recognize you, some may, from the interview you did so many years ago yes. that went viral. And you said to me, what did that video do? Mm -hmm. It sent me across the world. Yes. In 2013, we came here. Yes. You and I spoke. The yes. video went viral. And we went through the whole issue of reversing and preventing cancer, cancer. diabetes, mm. all these lifestyle diseases with natural remedies. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for that I'm video. I'm so very glad. And then you went back to school and did your doctorate. So holy for things. So let's talk about it. And particularly this morning, they were talking about controlling and reversing diabetes type 2. That's correct. All right. So the first thing you say is eat a high fiber diet? Very, very important. What we find is that we're eating too much refined carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And so when it breaks down into the system and it becomes glucose, it goes into the blood too fast. Mm -hmm. It sends the blood sugar up and we have the diabetes. And so we need our people eating more vegetables, green vegetables, the carrots and the cabbage and the callaloo and the papatra, more fiber in the diet. You know, sometimes when I do these interviews, I say, you know, grandma and mommy never rang, you know, because they used to give you a whole heap of child to eat and we never like it. That's correct. But we ate it, but no, we don't. And because we don't eat it, these are some of the things. So they say the high fiber um, keeps the aldolase, that's a technical term, from rising mm -hmm. too steeply. Mm -hmm. um, so seven of eight patients on the high fiber diet showed a lower glucose level. The diet should be medium, so high in fiber, mm -hmm. but medium in complex carbohydrates. That's correct, because even though the yam and the sweet potato and the dashin is good, it still converts to glucose in your bloodstream. All right. Yeah, it still does, because oh. carbohydrate converts to glucose once you have eaten, digested, and yeah. it gets into your system. Yeah. So we have to eat the carbohydrates, but eat them in moderation also. All right, so it means mixing up the, mixing up the thing there. The vegetable with the carbs mm -hmm. and the peas and beans. So you have a balanced plate. What about fruits? Because sometimes I hear people say, you know, eat a lot of fruits, but then there's a school of thought that says some of the fruit themselves have a lot of sugar in it. And so how do you balance it? It is true that banana, for example, we have the banana, the kneesberry, they are very high in glucose, just the same, mm -hmm. right? Carbohydrates. So again, we can eat our fruits. I work with many diabetics and mm -hmm. I have them on fruits. But we eat the fruits in moderation. So okay. we don't eat three, four banana. Yeah. Eat one red banana. <laughs> and you have a papa with that. So we balance it. You know, Jamaican apple. Mm -hmm. So you eat the fruits in moderation. Mm -hmm. So the banana. My, my director who works out a lot is trying to defend his banana intake. He's saying if you work out, if you can't eat more banana. <laughs> Exercise is key for diabetes, you know, yes. and it's, it's one of the key things. If you are exercising and you are using up the energy, so your muscle is now using up the glucose for energy, mm -hmm. you won't have this spike. But okay. how many of us exercise that much like your director? Yes. So we have to eat it in moderation. But he not exercise that much. He, he, thinks, he must say so, but I don't think so. Okay. Um, so we go on high fiber, medium complex carbs, low fat diet. Very important. Mm -hmm. There is a school of thought. And doctors keep telling their patients that it is really the carbohydrates, but they're forgetting the meat. Mm. It is the high consumption of meat, animal fat, that is causing the diabetes. Yes. It is. So when we consume the fat, it clogs up the, the cells, right? So when the pancreas releases the insulin, mm -hmm. the insulin cannot get into the cell because the cell is covered in plaque, which oh, is coming from the saturated, the saturated fat. fat. So the, the problem really is the high consumption of meat. We've got to keep a low fat diet. All right, so apart from the meat, I'm seeing here, they're saying refined fats such as too, not too much butter, margarine, mayonnaise, salad oils, peanut butter, vegetable oils, right. and so on. We have to keep those out of the diet. No, Lord have mercy. Um, Doc, yeah. no, you tell me it's a Christmas postponed. Christmas not postponed, you know. Because mayonnaise, <laughs> potato salad, bread food salad, every salad. Cashew mayonnaise. cashew mayonnaise. I can teach you how to make cashew mayonnaise. We can use the cashew, the almonds, the coconut jelly, and make a plant-based mayonnaise without the egg, without the whopper salt, and mm -hmm. the whopper vinegar in it. Mm -hmm. So you can make a healthy plant-based 
mayonnaise yes. for your salad for the Christmas season. All right. So high fat, high animal protein, not good. Um, sometimes, so there's a, sometimes most of people go off on a vegetarian diet. Um, it works for some, it doesn't work for some. And I think because they don't understand that even though it's vegetarian, you still have to balance the necessary nutrients and proteins That's and correct. so on. So, so when you're approaching a vegetarian diet, what are some of the things that you have to bear in mind to, to, to maintain that balance? Okay, now if you remember back in 2013 when I came on your program, we were talking about reversing cancer using a plant-based diet. Yeah. It is fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, grains, grown provision, and peas and beans. Mm -hmm. And so what you want to do during the course of the day is to ensure that you're balancing from the food groups. So some persons go vegetarian, but they're consuming up of fruits without the vegetables. Yes. Some persons are going to have vegetables and they're leaving out the fruits. Mm -hmm. But we need the minerals, the vitamins, the enzymes, the phytochemicals from all the fruit groups to have a balance mm -hmm. to stay in good health. Mm -hmm. All right. So when and how much to eat? Um, how many meals per day? We recommend two meals per day. Two? Two meals no, per no, day. No, geez, um, yes. It's Christmas postponed, you know. <laughs> all right, so first of all, when we say that meal, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so two meals and what, snacks? I don't recommend snacking, especially when I'm working with diabetics. Because okay. remember, each time you consume any kind of carbohydrates, your pancreas has to release the insulin. Mm -hmm. If you get too much insulin in your system, it spikes your blood sugar and you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I recommend that we have water. We have our herbal teas. You have a large meal, so you can have your, you know, your banana, your papa, your pineapple. Have a fruit plate. Have some porridge. High fiber. Grate some coconut. That's the panage. meal. That's the meal. But the fruit plate and the porridge. The fruit plate and the porridge, or you can have ake with breadfruit and yam and sweet potato. Okay. Right. And then you end the meal you now with some healthy fats. So you can have some almonds or some cashew or some coconut. Let's cut up the coconut. What right? time are they be eating them too? We me? love them both. So like me got hungry when me got my bed. And Girl, I'm... you want to go to bed with your stomach empty? That's the whole idea. <laughs> you must go to bed fasting yeah. so that you can rest. Yeah. And then wake up early in the morning oh, and have a healthy food breakfast. food in there, your stomach will be... Ferment. Oh. Fermentation, it causes bad breath. Oh. Right? And then it causes the upper problems with the headaches and mm. the, the stomach problems. You've okay. got to go to bed with your stomach empty, empty and wake up early to eat a big breakfast. May I hear you that? May I process it? Amen, sister. If my hunger my belly start growing, I wake up in a big line night. No, you won't drink cup of water. Drink water. <laughs> no water and coconut water. You're good to so, go. So it's a breakfast, so you wake up, you eat a, a big meal in the morning. That's and right. Then what? You wait five hours because we need at least five hours to digest the meal properly so your body can absorb, okay. assimilate, and use it for nutrients. Okay. And then five hours after, you're having your lunch. So if you had fruits with grains for breakfast, now you're having your raw salad, your steamed vegetables, your gray, you know, your brown rice or some mm -hmm. yam and banana with bean stew, any assortment of bean stew. And you have a large lunch, say about one, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now, once you've done that, if you are a construction worker mm -hmm. or somebody who's using a lot of energy, then you might need a third meal. Mm -hmm. But people like me and you who sit down and we just run decks the whole day and oh, talk to people, we don't use much energy. Doctor, after me eat lunch now, one o'clock, one, six o'clock, what I got to have him? Oh, you can have a light. You can have a fruit smoothie. Okay. Get some coconut water. That, yes. I have a fruit smoothie, yes. flaxseed, pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, banana, papaya, blend no. it up, fruit smoothie. If you smoothie. said a smoothie, me can't work with that. Do a fruit me smoothie. Me can't work with that. Me can't work with that. Um, should you do it at exactly the same time every day? Does the body work better when it works with routine? It does because, you see, our, our stomach has a memory. Mm -hmm. The brain is communicating with the stomach, telling the stomach to release the enzymes, the hydrochloric acid to, to digest the food. Mm -hmm. And so it is best to eat your meals at uh, pretty much within the same time frame each day. So your body now knows that food is coming and the machinery is prepared to digest, to digest the, the meal. Food. Mm -hmm. That's no matter shock your body. Sometimes you don't know, eat. Because I've seen as a miss, oh, I don't eat all day. And then you eat. And then in the morning, you get to find you eat again. So the time frame is shorter, longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Stomach problems. Poor stomach. I know what you do. That's right. Um, do not overeat. Hey, Christmas cancer. <laughs> do not overeat. <laughs> yes. Because it's a major cause of insulin resistance. That's correct. We've got to eat to the point where we feel full, but we're not bloating. You know, you know Jamaicans eat until we saw your belly bus? Yes. We try not to do it's that. It's a lot. My belly full of your move. Yeah, exactly. That's a very, very unhealthy thing to yes. do. But you're stretching the stomach, right? Yes. And your stomach needs just enough food to keep you going as mm -hmm. fuel, mm -hmm. but not as gluttony. Where we're mm -hmm. eating to the point where we're busting like that. Because it also will impact on obesity. Yes. 
Yes. All right. There's a lot we could talk about this morning, of course, focusing on diabetes. But as you said, um, you specialize in um, healthy lifestyle and how you eat for many things. That's how right. do we find you if you want to get more information? Okay. So I'm in Ocherius now, right? I'm at 170 Main Street, Ocherius. I'm there so Mondays to Fridays. And in, on Sundays, I'm at 74 Constant Spring Road, which is the East Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. That's where I work from on a Sunday. Okay. All right, so if you need to find it, any phone number, website? Sure, 876-974-8813 or 878-8867. My website is my name. It's www.debrawilliamsja.com. All right, so please go out and check out debrawilliamsja.com. Always a pleasure oh, thank to you have you. And thank I'm you glad, so much. I'm glad that um, awesome things yes, have been you. happening for you. Yes. All right, you. medical missionary and healthy lifestyle educator. Dr. Deborah Williams, we're going to take a break, um, and we'll be back on Smile Don't Go Away.